Welcome to Dolphin Cloud Power Dialer and CRM. First, I'm going to show you how to immediately start dialing in the fewest steps possible, and then we'll discuss some of the additional features and how to customize your setup. To use Dolphin Cloud, you must be using a Google Chrome browser. Enter the user ID and password you received via email to log in. You'll see a dashboard showing calls, statistics, users, and getting started items. You'll see a notification showing that you need to sign the electronic agreement stating you'll use the dialer legally. This only takes a moment. Now we can get started. The first thing we need to do is navigate under Admin to Master Dial Settings so we can update our caller ID. Think of the Master Dial Settings as the default settings for your dialer. You may use any legitimate 10-digit number such as your business phone or cell phone. If you have a paid account with us, you can request a number with the area code of your choice. For the SMS caller ID, it must be a number we provide you with or it will not work. I'm going to fill my caller ID and hit save. We'll discuss the relationship between campaigns, lists, and leads along with more of the settings in a few minutes. But for right now, let's move on so we can start dialing right away. Let's quickly add one custom field before we upload our leads. Navigate to Custom Fields. I will create a Number of Employees field. Since there is already a default campaign and a default list created, all we have to do is upload leads. Navigate to the Upload Leads page. And then select the default list. You can choose to check for duplicates. and then you'll browse or drag and drop your CSV file here. If your leads are in a different format, such as XLS, you'll need to convert them to a CSV file and we'll have a separate video on that. We recommend 10,000 leads or less, but if you have a large list, you can use our file manager to split it up. Map the headers from your spreadsheet to the fields in the dialer. The custom field we did is here at the bottom. Now click Submit and the system will start the upload process. You can see the results notification here. Make sure you have a Bluetooth or USB headset plugged into your computer and are using Google Chrome. Let's start power dialing by choosing the default campaign under the Power Dialer dropdown. It will ask you to authorize the use of your microphone, which you must approve. When making calls, you'll see a red dot indicating the tab is using your mic. The progress of the call is shown up at the top. You will hear the phone ring and hear if someone picks up the call. When the call is finished, click on the hang up button to bring up a list of dispositions. Once you select one, it will move you to another call. During a live call or when a call is complete, you can view previous activities, make notes, 
or view and update lead info. Once set up, you can also view a script, send an email, or send a text message. Let's end the power dial session by clicking on the red stop button. Now, we'll hang up the call and disposition this one as a callback and set it for next week. As you can see, we ended up on the Leads View page showing the most recent calls we made. We'll come back here shortly, but let's go see where to view the callback that was just set. From here, you can see the due date of the callback, dial the lead, view the profile, or delete the callback. Now. Let's set up a PAM recording so we can start dropping pre-recorded voicemails when we reach an answering machine. I will navigate to Admin, Audio Files, and add a new audio file, and then click to start recording. This is Melanie with ABC Insurance. It's very important that I speak with you right away. You can reach me at 555 555 Five, 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 five. Now I'll name it and save it. We can add it to the PAM1 drop down and save. Let's go try it out. First, navigate to the CRM drop down and then the View Leads page. From this page, you can view any lead profile or simply click the phone number to dial. Record your messages after the tone. When you are finished, press the pound key. Hi, Jerry. As you can see, I selected the pre recorded voicemail we saved and it instantly freed us up to move on to another call or do something else while the message is played on her machine. By saying the customer's name first, I personalized it, making it more likely for them to call back. When we go into the profile page, you can see the call record and disposition of the call. Let's talk about the structure for dialing and staying organized in the Dolphin. Campaigns allow you or your team to power dial with specific settings and lists. While some clients only need one campaign, others may want several because it allows them to segment their dialing for organizational or reporting purposes. Lists are assigned to campaigns. You can think of lists as containers for your leads. Leads are uploaded onto your lists and then lists are assigned to campaigns for dialing. A lead is simply an individual record with contact information. A campaign may have one list assigned to it or many lists. Let's add a new campaign and discuss some of the important settings. Campaign ID must be one to five digits. I'll make this one 1001. Now you have the options to keep these master dial settings as default or to customize. If I uncheck this box, I can adjust the caller ID, mode of dialing, script, recording options, or dial timeout. The dial timeout determines how long a call will ring in seconds before moving on. Here, you can add campaign-specific dispositions or transfer presets. You can also view lists, hotkeys, or set up lead recycling preferences. 
Now we'll add a new list. Add the one to five digit list ID, name it, and then assign it to the campaign you wish. The reset times allow you to determine preset times for the list to automatically reset in order to call desired dispositions again, such as no answers or answering machines. On the list settings page, you can also reset the list manually when desired. There will be other videos that go more into depth on the following. Reports can be viewed or exported from this drop-down menu, other important items such as users, scripts, and email settings can be viewed from the admin dropdown. The user profile dropdown allows you to update your avatar or view the knowledge base along with some shortcuts for other items. This concludes the getting started video. You always have the option to send an email ticket or call support if you need assistance. Thank you.